I'm in shot or not. Yep, go for it. Oh! <laughs> Should have captured that. That was ridiculous. This is the men's bathroom. Oh no! Absolutely, girl. It is by far and away the most striking thing about where we are. Though. Whopping great big ferry, and there's the mooring field we were in. Marina again because um, well Bev's mum lives very close to here so um, taking this ideal opportunity to see Bev's mum but it's too nice a day to do anything else but just mess about on Salty Lass so that's what I'm going to do Ooh, now for the exciting stuff so I've just put some bubble in the bucket and now for the all important ingredient what? Correct, Bev. Cometh the hour, cometh the bubble woman. I do. So let's just see if it works. Oh no. Absolutely, girl. Let's see if my messiness. Oh no. I know what it is. Do you? Sadly, yes. So do I. Do you want to take it onto the pontoon? You've got more room. I'll go take it on. Whoa! <laughs> Stand on the other side of the bucket, you dafty. Sorry. No, go upwind of the bucket. pretty good for a bow. Well today's a bit unusual for Bev and I. Um, we did um, some work this morning so uh, Beverly finished off her the video that she was doing and I did some work for um, as a freelancer. Um, it's now about two o'clock we've got our glad rags on and we're gonna see Bev's mum in a bit and then later on we're going to do uh, go and see some other people who we've met down here at the marina um when bev walks around a marina uh she was walking around the marina yesterday and i think she had about five to six conversations with people because she's just that kind of person who just talks to everybody whereas i only talk to about three so Still talk to people, but just not quite as many as Bev does. Beverly and I are back in uh, Bangor Marina uh, for two reasons really. Uh, the first one is um, Carrick Fergus which is across the um, uh, river or lock uh, has a deal which means that you get the first night free uh, so you get the, you pay for the first night and then you get the, f the uh, second night free. So Beverly and I went into Carrick Fergus, got the deal, we've now come over to Bangor and then when we go back over to Carrick Fergus we get the deal and uh, we get another opportunity to see Bev's mum before we uh, merrily um, wander off on our way. So that's a good reason. And then of course uh, the other reason is uh, very good chandlers over here. I like the chandlers. So um, got a few other things to do over here. 
uh, and then we'll be going back over to Carrick Fergus to get the deal again. So, Bangor Marina um, has uh, got five gold anchors uh, because it's a quality assured berthing um, and um, I think there's various reasons for that. Good disabled access. Good recycling facilities. This is the men's bathroom. But you've also got a nappy changing area so that if you are a single dad, which uh, some people are these days, uh, you've actually got somewhere that you can change your kids' diapers. And really friendly staff um, and professional. Um, and what time is it in the morning? Uh, it's 20 past seven. 20 past seven. And here are all hours. This is exactly what you need from Marina. Good quality pontoons. Although I have complained about the size of the cleat. I just need bigger cleats. <laughs> you see, this is the size of um, our cleat with a rope on it. Now, normally we'd normally have two uh, lines on there, but uh, what bet we've done is we've gone from the back down to the line, and then we're also using the same line as our spring line, so it doesn't go forward, and then it just comes down to this cleat. So because the cleat is so small. Um, we're using the same line to do two jobs. Well, later on, Beverly and I are going to have some guests aboard. So, um, the first things first, wash all the bedding so that they can um, have a nice bed to sleep in. And they're getting the V-berth uh, because... We sleep in the pilot bunks. We sleep in the pilot bunks, so... That's the way it works. I know. I was just thinking I could do with a uh, spare of one of those. Two seconds later, it's over the side. I'll just show you how variable the UK weather is. I mean, so you saw that absolutely horrendous little gale, or whatever it was. And now, yeah, you've got blue skies again. But that's just the UK weather, and this is back in Carrick. So. <laughs> But unfortunately, um, the deal thing is one a week. So we didn't know that, but we're not moving back to Bangor because we've got friends to pick up tomorrow. Go up, drop this at the office, go to the pub and get drunk. Anything else? <laughs> Have you got it then? Next time I tie this round your ankles and send you down after it. Oh, that was so frustrating. Particularly when I gave up. I found it was stuck to the bottom of the magnet when I was least expecting it, then the damn thing fell off. But the main thing is, You've got your thing back. my docking stick is now aboard. Highly useful advice uh, uh, implement. And uh, if you want to see me you, um, uh, making it, I'll put a link to it in the um, up, up at the top. For those people who are interested in. Um, the liverboard lifestyle um i started um as a freelancer um just under a month ago and i have received the first amount of money uh, as a freelancer the issues that i have got from as, as as a freelancer are all to do with electric really um 
when we're in a marina, obviously there's an ample supply of electricity. But when we're in some mooring, um, I do have an inverter. But the issue is, how do I replenish the batteries? So um, I'm very loath to use the inverter because it's just going to be taking electric out of our house batteries. So, um, and I need a way of um, feeding that back in. So um, that's my biggest issue on uh, electricity and being a freelancer. It's all to do with electric. Um, on other issues that we've come across, it's just more to do with um, how organised you've got to be. If you want something to arrive, say you're going to go somewhere and you want to buy something that's unusual, you've just got to be so organised to book it well in advance to so that it's ordered, that you know that you're going to be there and just logistics. Logistics becomes a big part of your life and um, it's just something we're going to have to um, overcome and deal with. All right. So, hopefully you'll get the noise. Well, hopefully, but hopefully not as well. Hopefully not. Okay. Right, no, we're just um, filming because we've had problems with the starter and we think it's the battery. Okay. And we just want to catch it on camera. If, if we, possible. If, if it happens, it happens. If we've got the camera running, it might happen. Of course it won't happen because we've right. got... neutral, in, engine on, lines work. Starting. Worked perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Bev and I are crossing Belfast Lock yet again. again, yet again. Not that you can tell. But this time we're joined by our friend Gavin! Hey! hey. hey. <laughs> so, and really chilly! Yeah. Yeah, well, this is the UK weather, dear, not somewhere. Not the Med, so. Not the Med yet. But uh, anyway, so we're crossing Belfast Lock.